Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Succumbs Garage. Uh, today we got another project here going on here. Uh, we have a 2006 Honda Civic Hybrid uh, with a code of P0420, P2A00, and P1172. Those codes are related to the 102 sensor that's on the top portion of this uh, catalytic converter up here. And um, we're gonna replace that today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what you wanna do is go ahead and just pop this cover up. This cover is uh, it's being held in by rubber grommet. So you just have to lift up. Just a little bit of force right in there. All right, if you can see the O2 sensor, there's right here on the upstream. That's the one that's causing the problem right now. It's this one. Now, this is a really tight space, um, but you can get your hand in here as long as you remove this cover. And you're also gonna have to remove this intake box out of the way so that you can get to the, uh, the plugs plug is right down there so for this portion of the intake uh, you can loosen these bolts right here these are six millimeter or you can use a really small small like a uh, Phillips head screwdriver but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a six millimeter socket Go ahead and unplug your MAP sensor. That's out the way. Let's go ahead and remove this. These two bolts that's right here, they are 10 millimeter. They're the only thing that's holding this uh, intake box in. Okay, so you have the option of uh, opening this intake box up, pulling the top portion out, and pulling the bottom out separately. You can do that, or you can just pull the whole assembly out. And I prefer to pull the whole assembly out because the only thing that's being held on is, uh, is a little rubber grommet that it sits into just like the, the cover for the engine. And the bottom portion. Let's pull that out too. Disconnect that. Here's that little rubber piece. It goes right in here. Just put to put it back in. And that's all it sits into. So if you look right here, that's where the intake was sitting on top of. Just that. And then you got the, the mounting screw here and the mounting screw there, and that's it. All right, so coming right here, you have one plug, two plug. The one with that blue wire that's running up, that's the one you're unplugging for the upstream. And for the downstream, it's actually this wire right here that's loose, loosely hanging. That's for the downstream, and you can see where that downstream O2 sensor is at right there. And you can access that from the bottom, but we're not replacing that today. We are doing the upstream. 
in which this is the plug we're doing. Okay, that's unplugged. All right, let's get to the top. All right, so what you wanna do is uh, get yourself a O2 socket. 7 8 22 millimeter. Um, go ahead and put this in. Get yourself a 3 8 ratchet. Okay. Oops. I can sit in it. If it would just sit correctly inside of that, that would be nice. Okay, so I got that set in. And the only thing you need now is some kind of pipe like this I got this from my job so not much there or you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or get a small pipe of some sort and you can use that as leverage to turn this thing Got our new O2 sensor here, or AF sensor, air fuel sensor, oxygen sensor. Um, got this from uh, Advanced Auto. Part number, stair. Let's this out. Right here. And so what we're gonna do is pop this cap off, put some anti-seize on here, some little extra, even though it comes with it, but we'll put some extra on here. Got the bottle of anti-seize right here. All right, let's go ahead and dab that across. All right, and I'll go ahead and clean around there too. New one going in. Don't you just hate it when the wires twirls and twists on you when you're doing this? Oh my goodness. It just keeps getting stuck between things that it shouldn't be getting stuck between. All right, just go ahead and hand tighten it as far as you can. All right, okay. Got our torque wrench and our O2 socket set in. 33 foot pounds. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Let's get this off of here. new one is in you can see there now I just have to move this wire to, to go right in that area right there all right what you're gonna do is go ahead and bring this wire from under these vacuum lines under the 
check your lines, pull it out. There it goes. And we just have to connect it. There we go. That's in place. Don't forget to put the sensor back in. All right. All right, so you have your options here of um, clearing the code. You can do it with the uh, code scanner. I got one of these from uh, Advanced Auto for like, uh, I believe, I think $20 or so. But this is probably like maybe 15 years ago. I'm um, not sure how much they cost now but it could be cheaper. Or if you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and disconnect your, your ground wire from the battery and leave it out for maybe, you know, anywhere from eight to 10 minutes and put it back on. But when you do that, just make sure you have a coat for the radio because it's gonna ask you for a coat for the radio. If you don't have one, then you might want to find out what the code is before you disconnect the battery or go ahead and get a code scanner and just clear it out from there. I'll show you where the OBD2 socket spot is or location. All right, so if you come under here, right here where the gas pedal is, if you come where the gas pedal is and just look directly right under the dash, Right here, that's where it's at. Sorry, and it's all up in the way. Put the key to the on position, which is the second one. One, two, there you go. Let it communicate real quick. It shouldn't be that long. All right. And if you go to where it says erase codes, hit enter, hit yes, turn the key. on with engine off okay so we'll have to turn the key back off again and put it back on again all right So after driving for over 25 to 30 minutes, the light has not come on. So this has been successful. Hey, I hope you guys liked that video. If you find that video helpful, give me a thumbs up and a like. Uh, please go ahead and share the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.